everyone, and welcome once again to K.O. Blake's Books. Today I have another book review for you, and that is for Of Shadow and Sea by Will White. This is the first book of the Shadow trilogy of the larger Elder Empire series. Uh, this is a six-book series made up of two trilogies that take place concurrently, following two sides basically of the same story. And this is the first book of the Shadow Trilogy, which focuses more on assassin-like characters, whereas the Sea Trilogy focuses more on uh, seafaring and, and things like that. And I already have read the first book of the Sea Trilogy, which was of Sea and Shadow. Um, and so uh, I figured in order to read this series, rather than reading one trilogy than another, I would uh, kind of um, read one book from one trilogy, read the first book from the other trilogy, read the second book from the first trilogy, read the second book from the second trilogy, so on and so forth, um, kind of stagger them back and forth and work through the story, you know, not going all the way through the story from one perspective and then all the way through the, from the other, but going at the same pace for both. And uh, so I figured I'd read the first Shadow book. Um, my thoughts on the first C book were pretty positive. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, and uh, so I was expecting to enjoy this one as well. And I actually think I enjoyed this one a bit more. Um, I, I don't know why exactly, but this one for me just worked a bit better. Maybe it was because I already knew some of the story going in. I don't know. Um, but there was a lot of stuff I really liked in this book. First things first, um, I really enjoyed um, just the approach that this book has. Like the, the dual trilogies approach is something that I think is really cool. Um, and something that I've actually been interested in seeing if anybody had ever done before. And then I found out that these trilogies existed. I'm curious if you are aware of any other uh, series that do something similar to this, let me know, because I think that sounds very interesting. Um, but uh, just the approach that this has, where this crosses over at several points with the other book. Um, and I thought that was really cool. There was a lot of moments where, you know, I would be reading the book and then something would happen that was in the other book. And, I, and you know, the uh, main characters of each, you know, the Sea Trilogy and the Shadow Trilogy would cross paths. Um, and I knew that they had done that in the other book as well. Um, but I would see it from this perspective and I'd be like, oh, that's cool how it's kind of tying into the other book and you get to see the other side of whatever situation happens to be happening. Um, I thought that was really cool. I also really liked the uh, the main character of this book. Uh, the main character of the Sea trilogy is Calder Martin. This one is an assassin uh, or a consul consultant, as the kind of assassins guild um, in this world is called, um, which is named Shira. Um, and I think she's a really cool character. I actually liked her more than Calder in this book. Um, I, th I just liked her personality. I liked seeing her backstory, of course, much like the other, uh, the C book. Uh, this one has, uh, jumps back and forth between backstory, like flashbacks and present day. Um, and I found both storylines very interesting. Um, but I really liked seeing kind of her past, where she came from, all that kind of stuff. And then go going to see present day, what she's doing and uh and the the story that she's involved in which in this case focuses a lot on trying to track down calder and also trying to track down this thing called the heart of nekathy um i don't know if i'm saying that correctly or not but um this this thing that uh if in the wrong hands and and you know done certain things with it um can cause some big problems with the uh some of the greater beings of this world basically and uh, I thought that was really interesting, getting to see her side of that plot um, and seeing, you know, the way that she crossed over with Calder and his story and everything. That was all really cool. Um, I also really enjoyed a decent amount of the side characters in here. You get several other consultant characters, um, as well as you see Calder appear in this book, as well as a few others. And I think they were all good. Um, I can't remember really many of, of the names off the top of my head, so I can't talk about any in specific, unfortunately. But I did really enjoy a lot of the side characters and the uh, kind of group of assassin characters. Because you have Shira, you have a few other ones, um, and they all bounce each other in fun ways, um, both in the present day and in the flashbacks. And I really enjoyed the dynamic that they all had with each other. I also really liked the action in this book. Um, the action between both of these books has been great, but I especially enjoyed it in this one. Um, especially, I think, because this 
book focuses, again, more on the assassin type characters. So you have very heavy kind of melee based, you know, assassin like abilities and things like that, which are a lot of fun to read. Um, and I really enjoyed that stuff. A lot of good action scenes in this book that really stood out to me. Um, and even now that I finished the book still kind of stick in my memory really nicely. Uh, also the world building in this book. I think the world building in this didn't strike me as much as it did in Of Sea and Shadow, uh, mostly because I feel like that book focused a bit more on some of the magic and some of the stuff with the Great Elders, which this still deals with a lot. Um, but I really enjoyed it in this book as well, and it kind of made me learn a little bit more about uh, this world especially in regards to the Great Elders, which for those who didn't see my review for the other book, uh, are basically these greater beings uh, that have a very Lovecraftian feel to them, which is a big Lovecraft fan, totally works for me. So, uh, and I liked that you got a different side of that than you did in the other book as well. Uh, I apologize that I'm referring to the other one so much, but I kind of think of them, you know, they're a pairing, so they kind of go together for me. Um, but, um, you know, in that book, it talked a lot about them and you learned a lot about, about them. In this book, it builds on that. It's not just learning the same things over again, but you're learning a few other things that are building on that knowledge that you already have. And if you read this book before the C book, I'm sure the same would be true the other way around as well, um, which I really liked. I thought it was really cool. And it made me even more excited to see where this series goes, because I have heard that things get a, a bit more Lovecraftian as things go along, which has me very excited. Um, and even over the course of this book, like, it starts out, like, you hear some of the things about the war, the world and the war and the Great Elders, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's kind of Lovecrafty. And then by the end, it's, like, full-on, like, there's actual, like, Lovecraftian stuff going on, which I thought was super cool. Um... <laughs> Just, just as a Lovecraft fan and a fantasy fan, when seeing those things mesh together is just something that makes me very happy. Um, and uh, yeah, just a lot of good stuff in this book. Um, I don't have a lot of negative things to say here. If, uh, if I do have anything negative to say, I do think there were some sections in the middle of the book that were not quite as gripping for me. Um, you know, it's just... That, that's kind of the case for a lot of books sometimes. If they're not really interesting all the way through, you know, there's just going to be some walls where you're not as interested, uh, which this did have for me. There were some chapters where I was like, uh, you know, I kind of just want to keep kind of going along, get to the next really cool thing. But, uh, you know, this is a pretty short book, so it and it didn't take me that long to get through. So it's even though there were some sections where I wasn't fully into it, you know, it was short enough that I was able to kind of go th through things at a good pace and still enjoy it quite a bit. Um, so that's not really a huge issue. And that's really the only issue I had with this book. I liked all the characters. I liked the plot. I actually found the plot a bit more memorable and the characters a bit more memorable than in Of Sea and Shadow. Love the action, love the world building, all that wonderful stuff. Um, this, this series is really really kind of, um, I, I was going into it expecting to enjoy it, but not quite love it because I know a lot of people really love uh, Will White's Cradle series and consider that to be easily his best work far above this series. Um, and so I figured this would probably be like, um, obviously I haven't read the other four books yet, but I figured I would read this and be like, yeah, that's good. It's not amazing. Um, but I am really liking this series a lot so far. Um, as far as a rating out of 10 that I would give this book, I would give it like a 9 out of 10. I would say even higher than Of Sea and Shadow. Um, this series is really working for me so far in a lot of ways. I do think that the, the plots and the characters, you know, they're good, but they're not amazing to me. But just the world building and the magic and just a lot of cool stuff in this series I'm really excited to see continue uh, to, to be developed that I, I'm really excited about. And I think that... Um, you know, like I said, I was not expecting to love this series or anything, but I think if things keep up like this over the course of the entire series, this may be one of my favorite series by the end of it, um, because I have, re I'm really enjoying it so far, uh, with two out of the six books. Um, so really good, really good book. Um, really enjoyed it a lot and very excited to see where things go. And, and just as another extra thing, I finished this book and I was immediately like, I want to read the next book, like, right now. I was so into the 
uh, ending of this book and so into this book in general by the end where I was like, you know, I'm not planning to read the next book for a little bit. It'll probably be like next month or something like that. Um, but and, and even then, that'll be the next C book, not the next Shadow book. But I got to the end of this and I was like, man, I want to read the next Shadow book, um, which I think is a very good thing indeed. Um, so really enjoyed this one a lot. Um, definitely would recommend uh, this one if you are interested. Um, so that's pretty much all I got to say in this review. Let me know in the comments if you have read of Shadow and Sea and what you thought of it. If so, um, if you kind of had similar to thoughts to me where you really love the world building, really love the magic of this series, um, not as much the characters and plot, but they're still good, or if you really enjoy the characters in this series, um, and which book of the two between this book and the first C book, which one you enjoyed more? I'd say I definitely liked this one more. I still really enjoyed the first C book as well, but um, definitely liked this one a bit more. So I'm curious to see if anyone else uh, felt differently or the same. So that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.